All right, so this looks like it has a little bit shorter neck than the M67. We start to see significant signs of yaw at about three and a half inches. And it looks like it might have either flipped around twice or continued moving sideways much longer than the M67 did. We'll get another angle from the top so you can compare them side to side. But this disrupted area is pretty long at about 11 inches. The width is modest at about an inch and this bullet actually stopped in the block barely right here near the end of the second block. Total penetration 29.5 inches and of course you're not going to see any sort of expansion or fragmentation or anything from a full metal jacket like this. But we did get to see just a little bit of lead pushing out the back. It might have dropped some along there, but that wouldn't significantly affect wounding in any way. Just a little bit of squishing. You can see the tracks side by side a little bit better. You can see how the temporary stretch cavity on the M67 pretty large for a full metal jacket, but that the Silver Bear actually started upsetting earlier than the M67. The Silver Bear starts to yaw right around here, and the M67 starts to yaw right around here. However, like I said, it is a larger temporary stretch cavity, so there's a little bit of give and take between the two. Both are still just full metal jacket rounds though. Oh, you're good.